Hey there, this is Linda West with Living Life with Linda, and I'm here today with Lamine Touré. That's right. I said it right. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. With Maz Maverick's Boss Battles. You guys, first of all, I'm going to be on the show. What date? October? Thursday, October 26th. Thursday, October 26th. At what time? Is this going to be live? 6.30 p.m. We're broadcasting live on Facebook. And then after that, we'll throw up the show on YouTube afterwards. But definitely catch it live on Facebook. Yeah, because now, let's talk about that quickly. The um, So you do the after show on YouTube, but that's an edited version, correct? That's, a, that's an edited version. So if you want to see the raw, like, live format, right? Facebook is definitely where you want to see it. So I thought that was cool because you were telling me, he was telling me about how... Um, they do the live show, and then they take the show and edit it so it has sound, it yeah. has logos. So um, we'll, we'll add logos music, and... logos, graphics, visual aids, just different things to make it a little more engaging. Um, but we definitely want to get it up on Facebook as soon as we're filming it, because some people like to watch live similar to your audience. Right, yeah. exactly, just yeah. like these guys. Yeah, we'll see, you, we'll see you on the replay, too. Okay, so, um, so Boss Battles. Mm -hmm. This is a show for entrepreneurs about entrepreneurs, yeah. and you wanted to like tap into like how do they think about weird questions, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, and why was that first of all? Like um, why why the weird questions? So so I wanted to have a wider audience, right? So there's there's the entrepreneurial community, there's the business community, and then there's just the the general public at large. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I wanted to be able to do is create a show that. If anybody were just browsing around Facebook or cruising around YouTube and they started watching it, they, they would have something that they could latch on to. They wouldn't feel alienated just because it's about entrepreneurship or it's about you know okay. people who own their own companies. So we ask questions that involve pop culture, business, social media, different things that people can latch on to. So if you're an entrepreneur, you definitely can engage with it. But if you're somebody who's just like cruising through and have just found the show, there's something you can watch as well and be entertained by. That's so true. Great questions, too, because I was watching uh, the last episode, episode number three, yeah, and yeah. I was like, oh, man, I don't know how I would have answered that question. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's cool that you give us a perspective of like what it's like to have these strange questions asked of like, how do we think, right, yeah. entrepreneurs. So you have, um, this has been in the process for two years. Right, yeah. How did you have the idea in the first place? Like, what were you doing that came up with this idea? Well, Boss Battles is definitely like my main focus right now, but it wasn't where I started. So okay. uh, when I originally started the company, I actually had a co-founder, and we've since parted ways, but we called it Mavericks Academy. So a lot of people who have been following me from day one mm -hmm. probably recognize Mavericks Academy, and now it's just Mavericks. Okay. And we actually started as a blog. It was just a blog website, and we were interviewing entrepreneurs and writing different articles about like business topics and different things like that. And I started to fall in love with video. And mm. I did a couple of video uh, interviews with entrepreneurs, and I was like, I just like video content because it's, because I'm such a YouTube head. Right. I found another show that was very sim similar to what Boss Battles is, okay. and I decided to take the concept and kind of the skin of entrepreneurship and business and reskin and remold that show into what Boss Battles is now. And that process did took it took over two years to kind of get to where I'm at right now. But we're about to film episode four, and just really excited about it. Ooh, and I'm gonna be in episode four. You're gonna be four. on it. She's exactly. gonna be on. You guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna win. Definitely check her out. <laughs> we're really looking forward to having I'm you. I'm gonna on. win. I'm gonna win. So this is really interesting because um, I've gone through a lot of changes through the mm -hmm. last three years. You know, I worked corporate for ever, uh -huh. and at age 51, I discovered I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and so I quit my job and I started this journey. Mm -hmm. For entrepreneurism, you yeah. know, ship, whatever. I'm on the ship of entrepreneurs. Whatever we want to call it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in that process, though, there have been a lot of different changes, iterations, and so in that two years, so you started off uh, wanting to do one thing, like it was the blog, and then now you're doing a game show. Yeah. So how did you get to the game show? Because so, you like video, but then yeah. game show. Okay, so great question. When I first started doing know, the blog, huh? it was like uh, it was about you know engaging with entrepreneurs and kind of learning their story and how they tick, right? And I it, I tell a lot of people it was almost like going through an MBA program in entrepreneurship okay. because you're sitting down with people who have been very successful, who have like businesses or investments, they're venture capitalists or they're serial entrepreneurs, and you're learning like about what what made them successful. Um, so that kind of sparked my like whole like okay I'm 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 in it like I love this entrepreneurial community I love the concept of entrepreneurship, but at my core, in my heart of hearts, I really am about like entertain entertainment, fun and just games. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a video game player. I love video games. I love uh, watching entertaining shows and game shows on television and on YouTube. And there's a show that I watch all the time, it's called Movie Fights, and it's by this company called Screen Junkies. And they've been in the news lately for some rather negative things, but okay. 
um, at the end of the day, their model and some of the content that they create, I watch all the time. I highly engage with it. And they have the show called Movie Fights. It's a very similar format to Boss Battles. And I thought, you know, why couldn't I do something like this with business and entrepreneurship? Why couldn't I have three people on, ask them questions about, you know, different pop culture, topical business and entrepreneurship related things that a lot of other people can engage with mm -hmm. and allow the audience members to see how these different people think. And that's really the value of the show is that you get to learn how entrepreneurs and business owners think when they're faced with different scenarios and different types of questions. Yeah, and I love that because we all do think so differently. And, you know, entrepreneurs, it's a rare breed for sure. Because yeah. we were talking about how, you know, sometimes obstacles will come in the way. Like you had, maybe at the beginning you had an obstacle where mm -hmm. you had a partner and then now you're not together anymore. So something happened that had, you know, that made this split happen. Yeah. And then at that time you're going to be like, oh, woe is me, woe is me, I'm giving up. But you didn't. You said... I'm just going to change the way I do it and keep going, yeah, right? Yeah. So what would you say was like that thing that just clicked in you that said, okay, this is not a setback. This is actually going to be a good thing. I'm going to turn it into something different and something good. All right. Um, so really what it was for me was the fact that I no longer had somebody kind of controlling the direction creatively mm -hmm. of where I wanted to take the content that I was creating. And I always knew that I wanted to do something that was a little bit more lighthearted. Um, a lot of the content around entrepreneurship and business is very serious yeah. or very like hustle, grind, like, uh, you know, driven, focused. And like, I have no problem with that. I mean, I have my affirmations, I have my mantras, and I have the different things that I look to to keep me going and to keep that tenacity up. But what I wanted to create was something that was a little bit more fun and interactive for people, mm -hmm. but still had that entrepreneurial focus, that entrepreneurship theme. And that's why I decided to merge the, the show that I liked, Movie Fights, on that Screen Junkies channel yeah. with what I was doing with, with Mavericks, which was engaging with entrepreneurs. And what came of it was boss battles. And um, after parting with, ways with my previous business partner, creatively, the direction that Mavericks goes in is completely up to me. So I was like, I'm going to go all in with this idea. Mm -hmm. I, I actually like shopped it around to different people just to see what they thought of it. I talked to my mom. I talked to uh, some video creator friends of mine. I talked to some other entrepreneurs. And I'm like, this is my idea for the show. And they're like, oh, yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. Then we finally just kind of pulled the trigger and did episode one and just kind of put it out there for the world to see. We had a live audience. There's about you know 25 people showed up cool. to watch the show, which is really cool because... Uh, you know, the contestants get that energy from the live audience yeah. when they're laughing or they're like, oh, this and that, you know, um, and and it worked. People were like, this is a great concept. I really enjoyed being at the show. I really enjoyed being on the show. Keep up what you're doing. And just hearing that feedback gave me the inspiration and the yeah, motivation yeah. that like, I'm going to keep doing this. And I have so much fun with it. You know, I, I love engaging with people like you right. and like having people on the show. People come up with the wildest answers to some of the questions that we ask that I never would have thought of in my life. And I think that's really cool, too, is just learning how people tick. What's the wildest answer, and who was it by, and which episode, so we can watch it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so at the end of episode two, okay. which is on YouTube, check us out, uh, uh, on YouTube, we're mavericks.co, and it's spelled M-A-V-E-R-I-Q-S. Um, but at the end of episode two, I asked... If you could go back in time and choose any historical figure to be your business partner, mm -hmm. who would you choose and why? Mm. Right? Great Who would question. you choose? Put it in the comments below. So, uh, one of our contestants, his name's Joe Ronaldo, um, he was just ready to jump out of his seat because he had the answer oh in his gosh, head. He was okay. just ready to say it, you know? And I was like, all right, Joe, so what's your answer to that question? And he said, Jesus Christ. And I was like, whoa, like, I didn't know we were going to get religious with this. Uh, but he was like, Jesus would be the best business partner ever. He was like, if you walk into a business meeting and Jesus is your business partner, who's going to tell you no? And I was like, okay, like, fair enough. Like, that's a good argument. And then I was like, okay, well, Sean, because we're in the speed round, so there's only two contestants left. Okay. I was like, Sean, who's going to be your historical figure that's going to be a, be a better business partner than Jesus? And he said, the devil. And I was like, what? what? You're like, what? I kid you not. Mavericks Balls Battles Episode 2. Check it out. <laughs> Just fast forward all the way to the last question. And this is an incredible debate. So literally we were debating who would be a better business partner, Jesus or the devil. And it was super uncomfortable for me because I was like, I didn't know we were going to get religious on the show. But right, right. it ended up being really funny, really humorous, and really lighthearted. Both people argued, you know, uh... For their for their selection, right? Um, but it was just, it was wild. I had so who won? Uh, we had to go with Jesus. 
Okay, good. Um, just, <laughs> but, but it was based on the arguments. So oh, okay, okay. not only did, you know, uh, Jesus win, but uh, Joe had really good arguments as to why Jesus would be a better business partner than the okay. devil. Um, and Sean just, his argument wasn't as good. Um, we judge, you know, all the points are based on the argument. So, you know, everybody who answers the questions has an opportunity to argue or debate what their answer is mm. going to be. And that's how you actually earn the point is based on your argument. I'm going to have to work up on my debating skills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to then. bring it. But I think you have the energy. I think you have the energy. I have the energy, but uh, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to work on my debating skills for sure, <laughs> for sure. Well, I'm really excited to be on this show. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't yeah. know if you know, but I've watched a lot of game shows in my life. My mom and I actually tried out for Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Long, long time ago, like 20 years ago. We've been get, training for this. Yeah, I've been training. Right? But, you know, I, we didn't get on this show, which was a bummer. But I do have this down. Nice, nice. <laughs> go, go, I've got it, I'm ready. I'm ready now. <laughs> You're pumped. I love it. I'm ready I to bring it. in the game show um, energy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's really what we need. I mean, uh, passion, creativity, entertainment value, and knowledge is what you're, what you're judged on. And um, yeah, we can't wait to have you on the show. It's going to be exciting. Maybe this is the start to my first game show yeah. appearance. Well, this is season one, and we're actually bringing back all of the winners oh, to okay. compete in a, it's a tournament. So at the end of season one, we'll have a champion of season one. So all the winners are going to be facing up against each okay. other. Um, we have a bracket. It's broken down. I'll, I'll have it thrown up on my fa uh, my Facebook and my uh, website as well, so you guys can check that out. A bracket, but, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's oh going to be, there's there's more opportunities. We'd love to have, you know, people come back on the show. And uh, once you've experienced it for the first time, you'll have a good time, and then hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get you back, too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So you guys tune in. We're on a October? Uh, Thursday, October 26th. At 6.30 p.m., we'll be live on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash mavericks. It's spelled M-A-V-E-R-I-Q-S. Um, Linda's been linking us and tagging me on Facebook, so yeah. check it out as well. You guys should be able to find me um, and find Mavericks as well. So, again, Thursday, October 26th, 6.30 p.m. Look for us live. That's Mavericks Boss Battles episode number four. And yeah, yeah, check her out. Root for Linda. Hopefully we'll have That's another right. winner right here. Maybe if I get more people rooting for me, I'll win just automatic by default. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be a lot of fun, and, and I love the idea that you, you've come yeah. up with a game show. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that's just, uh, it's really fun because you don't know, like, what do you see in three years? Um, Where three do you years, see it? Three years from now, you know, hopefully we have a ton of views. We have a huge audience. Um, you know, we have more audience interaction. We'd love for people to play along live. So the reason we stream the show live on Facebook is so that people can actually watch it and play along, like mm -hmm. answer the questions, comment what they think the answer should be or what their answer would be to a question. Um, and, you know, just, oh, just okay. really like having, you know, tons of contestants, tons of interactions, increase the, the production value of the show and, yeah. you know, maybe get some sponsors and some potential advertisers. But right now we're just having fun. Um, you know, interacting with San Diego area entrepreneurs and giving them a platform. Yay! Oh, I love it. I'm so excited to be part of it. So thank you so much, Lamine. And thank we'll, you, you guys, we're going to see you on October 26th. October 26th, 6.30 p.m. It is on my calendar, by the way. I just don't remember dates very well. I, I really do like on my calendar, 100%. Oh, I look at my here. calendar, I don't even know what I'm doing. So <laughs> Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye. See you soon. Yeah, peace.